Hajj is one of the branches of worship of Islam. It refers to the annual pilgrimage to Mecca that is performed every year in the month of Dhul Hijjah. The journey to Hajj is very difficult, mentally and physically. Through this journey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes to purify us from all our sins and bad thoughts. Participation in Hajj is wajib on every Muslim once in their lifetime, as long as he or she fulfills the following conditions. One, they must be at the age of Islamic maturity or taklif. Two, they must have sanity. Three, they must have istita'a or capability. The conditions of istita'a are wealth, health and transport. As for wealth, the person should be able to afford the hajj financially. A person planning to go for hajj should also consider if he has enough money to meet his own and his family's expenses after the performance of hajj and returning home from Mecca. As for health, if a person is unable to travel due to ill health or old age or extreme difficulty, it is not obligatory on them to set out for pilgrimage personally. However, they should appoint someone to perform it for them. As for transport, Hajj becomes wajib only if the way to Mecca is safe and one has the necessary means of transport to make the journey. There also should be no dangers along the way, for instance, a hostile enemy or robbers. Before a person goes for Hajj, they should ensure they have no debts to pay. If they owe money to anyone, they should pay it back first or ask their permission to pay it later. Ensure the money for Hajj is clean. This is by ensuring that our khums and zakah have been paid. Prepare a will specifying if you owe any qada prayer or fasting, money and etc. The annual Hajj that most people, non-residents of Mecca, perform is actually made up of two parts, Umrah al-Tamattu and Hajj al-Tamattu. When a person goes for Hajj, they start at one of the possible places away from Mecca known as the Miqat. For example, one of the Miqat is known as Masjid al-Shajara, a place outside of Medina on the way to Mecca. At a Miqat, a pilgrim puts on a special dress called the Ihram and they make their niyyah or intention for Hajj and recite the Talbiyah. The ihram for men is usually two pieces of unstitched clothes like for example, two cotton towels. One piece is for covering from the waist down and the other piece is for the upper body. Men cannot cover their head or the instep of their feet. For women, the ihram is a simple long dress with hijab. It is recommended for the ihram to be white. As for the talbiyah, it is recited as follows. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. La sharika laka la baik. And it is highly recommended to say, Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk. La sharika lak. It is wajib to recite the talbiyah at least once at the miqat when putting on the ihram and making the niyyah. From the miqat, pilgrims head to Mecca and upon arrival, they perform Umrah al tamattu The wajib acts in Umrah al tamattu are as follows. Number one, ihram. To be in ihram until the Umrah is over, when wearing the ihram at the miqat, the niyyah should be made as follows. I am becoming a muhrim for umrit al-tamattu, for hijjat al-islam, wajiban qurbatan ila Allah. Thereafter, the talbiyah must be recited immediately. As soon as the talbiyah has been recited, a person is now called a muhrim until the umrah is over. This means certain actions are haram on him or her. These actions will be covered in the next lesson. 2. Tawaf to go around the Kaaba seven times, starting and ending at the corner where the black stone is lodged in the Kaaba, near the door of the Kaaba. The left shoulder must always be facing the Kaaba as you walk around it. Your intention is, I am performing tawaf around the Kaaba seven times for Umrah to tamattu for Hijjat al-Islam wajiban qurbatan ilallah. 3. Two rak'ahs after tawaf near the Maqam Ibrahim. Your intention is, I am performing two rak'ah salah of tawaf for Umrah to tamattu for Hijjat al-Islam wajiban qurbatan ila Allah. 4. Sa'i To walk briskly seven times between the hills of Safa and Marwa. Start at Safa. When you reach Marwa, that is counted as one trip. Go back to Safa. That is your second trip. Seventh trip ends at Marwa. Your intention is I am performing Sa'i between Safa and Marwa seven times for Umrah to Tamattu for Hijjat al-Islam wajiban qurbatan ila Allah. 
5. Taqseer To clip some hair from the head after the sa'i. Your intention is, I am performing taqseer to make halal for me everything that was haram in the ihram for umrah to tamatu for hijjat al-islam wajiban qurbatan ilallah. Thereafter, a person can remove their ihram and wear normal clothes. They would continue to stay in Mecca and wait for the Hajj Tamatu to begin. The wajib parts of Hajj Tamatu are explained in the next lesson. Note, there are some conditions for Tawaf. For a Tawaf around the Kaaba to be valid, the following conditions must be met. Number one, the person doing the Tawaf must be in Wudu or have done a wajib ghusl. Number two, the body and the clothes of the person must be Tahir and not Najis. Number three, the ihram must not be bought with haram money or stolen and usurped without permission.